What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video, and if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. That girl thinks she's the queen of the neighborhood. One of my absolute favorite Netflix shows is sadly coming to an end. And if you've never heard of Disenchantment, it's a Simpsons adjacent fantasy show that follows a hard drinking princess, her sweet and sassy elf, and her literal personal demon. All right, wish me luck. Good luck. Princess Tia Beanie, AKA Bean, is voiced by none other than our favorite queer, Abby Jacobson. And in the third season, Bean meets and falls in love with a mermaid in one of the most romantic and surprisingly tender episodes of the show. But unlike The Simpsons and Futurama, it's not a show you can just jump into. You 1000% need to watch the first four seasons before diving into season five when it premieres September 1st on Netflix. So full disclosure, I still don't quite know what Wheel of Time is about, but I do know it'd be gay. When have we ever followed the rules? On your knees. I'm going down. Wheel of Time has been on my watch list for quite a while, because while the books use the phrases pillow friends and heart friends to describe lesbian, the show has implicitly shown that these women are lovers. The new season of The Wheel of Time premieres September 1st on Amazon Prime. Set in a small northern town, my animal tells the story of Heather, an outcast teenage hockey goalie who falls for Johnny, the rebellious new kid in town. And as their relationship deepens, Heather finds herself struggling to control the animal within, which is a werewolf. Heather is a werewolf. Oh, okay. You know, when I was a kid, I used to want to rip that moon right out of the sky. It's different for us. Someday someone's gonna come along and accept you for who you are. Now, critics have been praising my animal for its aesthetic, which is apparently very dreamy, yet also very grim. So if you're in the mood for a forbidden love, coming of age, horror flick, you can watch My Animal September 8th in limited theaters. It will also be dropping September 15th on VOD. If you got a problem, I got a problem too. Drive Away Dolls is a raunchy comedy about two women who embark on an unexpected road trip to Tallahassee, Florida, but soon find themselves in the crosshairs of some very dumb but very dangerous criminals. I've had it with love. I don't believe it's relevant to the 21st century lesbian. You're not wearing that. I just came from work. I came from Toledo. I don't dress like it. To be clear, I have not watched Drive Away Dolls yet, but based on the trailer, it seems like the two gay lady leads might actually fall for each other. Just saying. I definitely got an opposites attract enemies to lovers vibe, but I will definitely be catching Drive Away Dolls in theaters September 22nd. <laughs> If you watched my March new releases video, you might remember Origin of Evil, a French thriller slash dark comedy about a scheming family of a billionaire fighting for control of his fortune, which I know doesn't sound very gay, but Stephanie, the film's main character, is a lesbian with a volatile lover in prison. Now, back in March, I said the film was coming out in limited theaters in the US. It did not, but it is now actually coming out in limited theaters as well as on VOD September 22nd. Also, make sure to check check out the pinned comment on this video for even more returning shows that may feature queer lady characters, like The Morning Show and Sex Education. Based solely on its synopsis, I feel like Perpetrator could be a sister film to My Animal because it's about another rebellious teen named Johnny who on her 18th birthday experiences a radical metamorphosis. And when several girls go missing at her school, a feral Johnny hunts the perpetrator. I heard this girl crying out for me. have to find that girl. 
Now, the perpetrator has been described as a coming-of-age feminist horror noir. Some reviewers have even compared it to Heather's. I'm intrigued. So if you're feeling brave, you can catch The Perpetrator September 1st on Shudder. The boys' spinoff everyone has been waiting for is finally here. Gen V is set in the brutal and diabolical world of The Boys, specifically in the Dalkin University, a prestigious superhero-only college where students train to be the next generation of heroes. You could be the first top-ranked freshman in history. I think you meant to say first black woman in the seven. But you have a target on your back. I'll be honest, I have no idea if Gen V will be at all gay. But it's worth noting there are two characters who can switch their genders at will, and at least one of them has a girlfriend. You can catch Gen V September 29th on Amazon Prime. <laughs> If you're like me, you might be aware that Tubi TV creates original content, but you've also never sought out Tubi TV's original content. It's all trash to me. Well, that might be about to change. What the fuck is this? Poochie Daddies is Tubi TV's newest hit reality show in which eight masculine identifying women are put in a house together in Jacksonville, Florida and compete in various challenges for a grand prize as well as the title of Top Hoochie Daddy. And I have to shout out Jade Fox because if it weren't for her video, I would have never heard of Hoochie Daddies. As soon as the intro started rolling, I knew I was exactly where I needed to be. Okay, I saw some duct taped titties. I also recommend you check out Jade's video if you're planning to watch the show because she does a great job of breaking down some of the show's dynamics you might struggle to understand if you're unfamiliar with the Hoochie Daddy world. Last week, Shudder dropped a brand new horror flick called Bad Things, which seems to be essentially a lesbian version of The Shining. Do you think you might be imagining things? You scare me a little. It's about a group of friends who spend the weekend at an abandoned hotel that the main character inherited from her grandmother. And if you've watched The Shining, you can probably guess what happens next. And speaking of horror, if you're a horror fan, you might want to check out my second channel where I've been breaking down horror flicks like Megan, Talk To Me, and The Last Voyage of the Demeter. And if horror isn't your cup of tea, you might want to peruse my Patreon, where I am still slowly making my way through Gap the series. I'll also be reviewing Bottoms after it comes out. That is it for the video. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron, Andrea. You make me smile like the sun. As always, I have to give a shout out to my big spender patrons, Angel, Citizen Ruth, Mary, Angie, JC, and Lucia. And as always, don't forget to let me know what new release you're most looking forward to, and I'll see you in the next one.